Have you ever backed your trailer off of the end of the boat ramp? Well in this video I'll show you how I bent my axle and repaired it for the long haul. Coming up. What's up everybody? Derek here from the Bass Factory bringing you the best tips and tools to help you become a better angler. If you're new here you really should consider hitting that subscribe button. Well it was a sad day when I did this. The axle on my trailer completely bent. Um, it didn't seem all that bad at the time but when I looked at it when I first rounded the corner it was horrible. I, the axle was at such an angle it was crazy. But I got it home, didn't have to call a tow truck. Um, what happened is I basically backed it off the end of the boat ramp which it came down to like this and the water was at this level and usually this is the lower Colorado River and they're generating water and letting water out and the water levels will rise but that particular day it was lower so it was right at the edge of the boat ramp where the water level was so as soon as I put that boat down in the water it dropped off and taking off was fine because it had no weight on it when I pulled the boat up off that lip well once I put that boat on that trailer and I decided to pull it out it just straight up went just axle went tweaked and that thing was in a bad position and I actually drove this trailer all the way home which was like 60 70 miles and luckily it started raining which reduced the friction on the tire because if not it could have possibly caught on fire because it was a bad angle it was it had a lot of resistance against it but what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how I fixed it how I took this axle and beefed it up and it was bent at an angle at the end and I straightened it back out and then add it on some metal and if you don't have a welder you can find somebody who welds or or just I'll show you in the video how I did it but let's get into this video all right as you can see I'm back in the trailer down to the water oh got to pull up a little bit And that current was coming right up against the side of that. There's that little island out there and that current was coming right up against the boat ramp, which is not ideal. Um, I wish there would have been a little bit more water and this would have never happened, but actually I'm kind of glad it happened. That way I was able to fix it and beef it up so it never happens again, which would really put me in a, I could be in a real bad place. And here's where it comes, right here. See, I didn't look all that bad from that angle, but mmm, that was not good. And you can see already, I knew what was going on. I think that's funny, I'm just paralyzed. And there she is, bent axle. There's the back shot. I mean, that thing is so tweaked. Okay, I'm here at the house, I'm in the garage, and here's my problem right here. Notice, that is way out of whack. So I'm gonna try to bend this thing out straight, and I've got a Harbor Freight $100 12 ton pipe bender that I've had for a while and I'm going to see if I can't put that thing in there and oof man I don't know I'll see how it goes that is something
now it's straightened back out. So we'll give that a shot. It's hot in here, but I think I've gotten it all straightened out. Uh, this pipe bender really came in handy. Uh, I tried to bend tube and other stuff with it, but mainly I've got it straightened out on the sides and the bottom side. So hopefully that will work, and I'm going to reinforce this thing with some angle iron and snip it just inside and weld it along the top side so hopefully this I think this is a 2,000 pound or 2,000 weight uh, trailer axle so I bent it like it's a little piece of rod but she's straight or as straight as can be again and I'll reinforce it and I guess I'm gonna test it out down the road and here's where I'm cutting some inch and a half angle iron and I'm notching it for the uh, spring pads and I'm just cutting that from one end to the other. The other notch. I'm gonna beef up this axle and try to get it fixed. Um, I could always go buy another one, but the exact same thing could happen. So I guess we'll have to see. I've got my little shadow with me again today. I can't go anywhere without this little guy being with me, but I love it. So we'll see if we can't weld this thing up and put it back together and hopefully we'll have a indestructible bulletproof axle by the end of this. I clamped on that angle iron and just started welding everything up. I tack welded it in certain places and then just filled in the gaps. All right, we got this axle all welded up. Both seams of this inch and a half angle iron is all welded up and we got it all set in place, so it feels a lot more solid already, I can tell. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the boat and see how it does uh, going down the road, but I still got this flat bar inch and a half that I can always put on here and box it almost like U-channel. Um, that will even make it more stout, but as for right now, I think this will do the trick. I think this will fix it. video was helpful and insightful for you and I hope it helps if you ever bend to axle or if you need to do any repairs on your trailer and uh, it, it'll show you any steps or any little insights of what I did 
And if you've ever backed your trailer off like I did, or if you've ever had any crazy situations with your boat trailer or anything like that, let me know about it in the comments section below. And if you want to check out more Bass Factory videos, check them out here and subscribe for more videos just like this one.